it looked like we got another queso situation on our hands. You know, everybody done heard J.D. Young is shot. His father hit. Some people say in the hospital even got shot up and all that, but it's all alleged with the hospital thing. But they saying last time they checked on him, he wasn't breathing and all that stuff. So, you know, y'all keep it in y'all prayers. You understand? He didn't take the warning signs. God, he tried to give him the warning signs. And they can be Satan or Jesus or Allah. He had many. He said on his post, he's surrounded by evil, evil energy. He said that he got warning. He had the ankle monitor, house arrest, stay in the house. You got money, stay in the house. But he didn't want to do that. He didn't. When he knew, he knew he had evil around him. He knew that them niggas was after him. Flashy guy in a small town, real flashy. Did he bulletproof his cars? We don't know. It don't seem like it. Did they catch him on foot? Did they? We don't know yet. But they know them cars. They know that, you know, his bank account on full. But did he move with the proper team? No. He with his daddy. Money out the ass. Enough to pay some steppers. Real security. But nah, he ain't gonna do that. Cause he from Louisiana. Louisiana niggas don't do that. Unless it's Lil Wayne or Birdman. They don't do that. Nah, they gotta keep it street. Stick to the G code. G of the soldier down. And most niggas who think like that, they get laid down. When you got the status like he got in a small town. And you know, this type of situation could have came from a lot of different things. Because these rappers, they still be in the streets. They do a lot of shicey shit. Like, you know, say I did a song with J.D. Youngin, right? And say when he came to the studio, or he ain't gotta be no song. He could have came to my trap. I'm showing him, I'm trying to show off. I'm showing him watches, money, you know, drugs. And he sent them niggas to kick in my door and rob me. It could be that. It could be, you know, some shit in Florida. Phone calls can get made. It could be that. And when a bag get placed on your head, you never know. It could have came from when he had the home invasion, when somebody died. It could have been that. It could have been some shit that his hood, his block, his set did. And he the face of that. And you got to pay for that. Yeah, see, A.R. Ab, he got shot for that. Some shit that his hood did. It set his block. And he the face of that. So we can't find them, but we see you. Because you pulling up in them vests. Them Corvettes. Them Benzes. Them AMGs. We know that. Yeah, it ain't bulletproof. It don't matter. We catch you when you jump out the car. Because you got to keep going to the store. To smoke, to get cigars. Yeah, you gotta come out to go get something to eat. When you got enough money to pay runners. But you ain't gonna do that because you staying stuck in the house. You can't stay in the house because you Jay the Youngin. Rushing to come outside. But God, he told you. He told you. House arrest. Stay in the house. If you gonna move, move the right way. Not the light way. But you hard headed. You had to pop out. You had to pop out before your curfew. You weren't going to take your son to the doctor. You weren't going to the doctor. You weren't going to see no family members in the hospital. Therefore, you could have sent a runner. Your daddy, hell, your daddy. And then when these artists, when these rappers get shot, they insides, they don't be no good. So that's why he can't breathe. His lungs ain't good. He smoke, pop pills, drink. Who knows? He ain't sober. He don't rap about being sober like Yo Gotti. Yeah, so when he get hit, his lungs like, what the fuck? You already be hurting me, smoking backwards, back to back, swishers, cigarettes, anything, pills, lean. His lungs, his heart, crying, screaming. You already be hurting me, and then you're going to get shot. You want me to fight even harder. I can't fight no more. I can't. So that's why he need help with breathing and stuff like that. Because his insides ain't no good. His insides are already working 10 times harder than it's supposed to. Y'all understand that his insides, they working so hard on an everyday basis. It don't matter that he's skinny, he ain't fat. His insides no good. He can't take no bullets like that. Come on now, so, you know, 
all y'all can do is pray. You know, the Satan, Allah, Jesus. That's all you can do. And all you can do is keep fighting and fighting and fighting and show God why he deserves another chance to live. That's why he got to prove to God, Satan, Allah, Jesus, that he deserves another chance, a second chance. Jay, you know how Louisiana get down. It don't matter what section you in. They all the same. You don't have to rest. You couldn't, you couldn't afford no shootout. You was going to jail. You had to rest. Come on now, your ankle monitor is going to tell on you. So, he had no business being outside. When any type of situation you get into, you was going to jail. Because your ankle monitor, all the members that you had in that first day out video, there was nowhere to be found. In the ambulance, you took that ride by yourself. And it always be like that. It always. The members, they couldn't help you when you needed them the most. They couldn't. They wasn't there. When more details come out, I'll touch back on this. Go.